Hey, this is a follow-on vid to uh, my previous video about my blood test results and kidney problems with the 80-10-10 lifestyle. If you haven't watched that yet, I'll put the link somewhere for you to go and watch that video. Um, this one's about my blood sugar levels and um, just dispelling the myth uh, about if you're having a high carbohydrate, high sugar, high fr fructose diet, such as the 80-10-10 lifestyle, that you will somehow develop um, type 2 diabetes. Um, I just want to debunk that myth because it's mainly to do with um, an increase in fat in your blood which causes um, the upset with your blood sugar levels. So I'm going to do a test for you today and um, just going to get my blood test results here just for you to see. Um, this was taken uh, I don't know if you can see that on there, 4.4 moles. And that was taken two hours, no more than two hours, after having a 10 banana smoothie for breakfast. So, I'm going to get my kit here, all in this bag. I'm just going to get that out for you. So, this is a little kit. The AccuCheck glucose, blood glucose kit. I'm going to get my lancet strips out. And my turn my little thing on there. It's all ready to go. Now I'm just going to prick my finger with this. Uh, there we go. It's going to hurt. Ah. Get a bit of blood out there, and quickly put on these strips before it dries up. Put it into there. There it goes. Nice little big bit of blood there. Mm, blood tastes lovely. Yuck. Quickly put it into my strip reader there. See what it says. And straight away it's come up with <clears throat> 4.9 moles, which is actually pretty low. I've had um, a 10 banana smoothie no more than an hour ago. <clears throat> so according to most people's theories, my blood sugar, if I was um, at risk of getting diabetes right now, would be extremely high because um, I would not be able to uh, process the sugar in my blood and my insulin levels would be proper, proper spiked. Um, <laughs> not the case as you can see 4.9 and the healthy range right now is between 3.5 and 7.8 so obviously um, straight after having that banana smoothie um, my blood sugar would have shot up obviously because it's in my blood and then um, so within an hour it's processed that down to only 4.9 so uh, my body is very fast at adapting sugars in my blood into glycogen in the liver um, and actually fructose sugar from fruit actually doesn't need insulin um, in the blood to process it actually goes straight to the liver um, if you don't believe me you can look this up on online on google or on any medical website um, ask a doctor or even go onto wikipedia it's um, quite common um, scientific knowledge so there you have it High fructose, high carbohydrate diet does not spike your insulin levels. It does not um, make you at risk of type 2 diabetes. In fact, my blood sugar now um, is a lot better than what it was when I was eating meat and dairy and on a low carbohydrate diet. Um, so there we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, and um, if you don't believe me that um, I did have a 10 banana smoothie an hour ago, what we can do is you can hit me up on Skype and I can do the test again uh, live for you. Um, that's absolutely fine. Um, yeah, check out my previous video about my kidneys, my, my potassium level. Um, since I eat quite a few bananas, um, it has been said that I'm going to get somehow um, kidney disease or... Um, potassium poisoning however my, my kidneys are extremely healthy so um it's able to process the obviously the the potassium very very quickly out of my body into my urine so yeah hope you enjoy these videos like and subscribe and i'll see you again soon bye bye